Hello, I'm Dustin Martin. My jiu-jitsu journey started about three and a half years ago. I wanted to learn some kind of self-defense. I was in the Army for four years, but that was more weapons training and loving Charlie, uh, indirect fire. And it wasn't very practical as far as a home, home defense. Um, you never know if you're, what's going to happen. And I wanted to be able to take care of myself. So I looked up uh, self-defense techniques on the internet and Grace Combatant's CDs came up. So I ordered them and in the process of doing that, uh, you know, I started learning the triangle and the arm bar and I'm coming to find out that I needed somebody to train with. You know, it's, there's nothing like that live interaction with somebody else. So I joined the local gym and they were a little bit more of an MMA gym. Uh, they were affiliates with Triton Fight Center and uh, Master Hinato and Pete William. So we would go down there occasionally and in doing that I, I found that I found my home. Uh, I, would, I would go down on the weekends and, and do private lessons until you know, I, I, I decided I just needed to move down here. Um, yeah, I ended up just changing jobs and, and just moving down. And ever since then, I've been training uh, twice a day, or one, one, one to two times a day, depending on if I'm working or not, and then six to seven times a week. And I, I haven't looked back. It's just the best thing I I've, I've could have done. Um, it's helped out my confidence and my depression more than anything else in my life. I used to be very homely, and I, I still am to a certain extent, but I used to be very homely. Um, I, I wouldn't get out much. I, I was on all these pills and, and drugs and stuff that wasn't really making me any better and until I found jiu-jitsu and I found um, you know, a, a better purpose with, with my life. And, and people had appreciated me and I appreciated them. And it just changed everything. Um, whenever I look back now, if I wouldn't have joined Jiu-Jitsu, I probably, I would have been sitting at home doing the same thing every day, just going to work, because that was the only thing that was remotely fulfilling, but even then, it was just work. It wasn't, it, it wasn't anything that ever made me happy. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu really makes me happy, and there's, there's not very many things that do make me very happy. So. And in doing that, you know, when you go back to work or, or whatever, you find people that are saying, well, you know, it's great you're doing this and, you know, you look so much better, you've lost 40 pounds and, you know, you're getting muscles and, uh, you know, what are you doing? It's like, well, I'm doing jiu-jitsu, you know, I'm jiu-jitsu and P90X and just, just going there every day and not stopping. And then, well, what are you going to do when you get hurt? You know, they, they, they always think that you're going to come back with, like, no arms or something. And it's just not the case. Uh, you get a little bit of normal uh, sports injuries. You know, maybe you, maybe you land wrong on your foot and you, you know, bend your toe or something. Or uh, it's, just, it's just not near as bad as what people put on. And that's... That's mainly because the MMA and the fighting. Of course, when you're punching somebody, you're going to have a big cut on your head or something. But I've, I've actually been hurt more at work uh, than I have at jiu-jitsu. I've, I've run a joke bit through my thumb. I've fallen down and, and ripped my hand open. Uh, I've, I've got a big scar on my head from working underneath the truck and, and catching my head. And it, you know, it, it's just, uh, it's just ridiculous, I guess, where you, you think going in that you're going to get hurt on something that's, that's actually gentle. Um, if you go to a good school and you train with good partners and good people, and that's where jujitsu comes in more than the MMA, uh, you're not going to get hurt. You know, people are, people control themselves to where if they do get the arm bar, then they'll let it go or you tap. You don't, you don't bring it to that point where you're actually in physical pain to where you need to go to the hospital. It doesn't happen if you if you go to a, a good school like Triton. So 
I, I, I think some of that's just a little bit ridiculous when they they use that excuse. And I think that I think that it's an excuse, and I think that they're scared. And I'm I'm the prime example of that guy that's not the football star that's able to come in and 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 learn and handle myself without any big issues. Uh, you know. As long as you put in the effort, it's like anything. As long as you put in the effort, you're gonna learn. And that that big guy that's that's you know, 250 pounds, you're gonna be able to to hold your own and not have a problem. And it's it's just it's a it's a real big eye opener. It's like man, I'm I'm a little guy, but I can you know, I can hang with this guy and and even achieve and even even overcome. So it's just. It's uh, it's unbelievable how much jujitsu will will change you. Um, eventually, eventually, I think I would like my own gym. Uh, I'm I'm working on my teaching abilities now, uh, trying to be fluent, and it's like anything else. It needs practice, uh, and and doing that, and doing the practice, um, hopefully it'll prepare me for later on in life when. When I'm able to use jujitsu, or not use jujitsu, but I'm able to do what I love and get paid for it and have a living doing it, as opposed to, you know, trying to be a welder or do doing something that's mundane that I don't I don't really like, uh, just to pay the bills. So in the end, I would like to become black belt and and have my own school, but that's that's down the future. It's it's down the road, and I can. I can wait. I'm patient enough. That's, I don't need it right now. I need to learn, you know, the different branches of the tree that that jujitsu is uh, more than I need to have everything right now. And that, that's 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 part of the journey. It's it's more the journey than the end. Uh, some of the roadblocks that I've had, I've been able to overcome by just thinking. If I don't do it today, tomorrow it's going to be worse. If, if I'm not rolling with that big guy today, tomorrow he's going to get better and he's going to crush me even more. And it's not even that, I say crush, but it's not that bad. Um, you know, you learn to protect yourself so that big guy's not crushing you. You build a frame to where that, that it's not going to happen. I mean, that's what Jiu Jitsu is all about is you know, self preservation, I guess. And in my in my mind, it is. Um, I I guess that's it. I appreciate it. Um, have a good day.